All right, so um, today is uh, the beginning of a new month, which I was happy about just because of how crappy March was. I'm like, you know what, I'll take April. Now, obviously, it, it's because of the same virus and the impact on our lives, probably going to be worse than March, but, I mean, I'm happy to look, at least you know hope for something new. Um, we don't need April Fool's because, well, I mean, that's kind of the life we're living now. But for many people, it's also the first day that a lot of bills are going to come due with a world that's been turned upside down. And here to talk about this on the commercial side in particular is Cody Payne, who is the Senior Vice President of the Dallas-Fort Worth Capital Markets Group. And, Cody, I wanted to ask you, I mean, I got a lot of questions, but the the first thing, and this was like the, hey oh, I mean, it was the shot that caught my attention. Cheesecake Factory actually put out a press release a couple weeks ago when they essentially had to shut down operations nationwide. And here they are, a very successful, highly profitable company, and they said, they might not survive this shutdown because of all of their rent payments due. They're in high-profile areas, all their locations, no cash flow. You do the math. So, Cody, I mean, how real is this that we could end up seeing, whether it's major chains like, uh, you know, the Cheesecake Factory or local businesses just in mass wiped out due to the inability to make payments? Well, and I, and I think it is a very real possibility. I mean, one thing that, you know, people need to keep in mind is, you know, all these tenants that are in these, you know, either retail centers or office buildings or even industrial facilities, you know, there are options for some of these guys on rent relief. But as far as the landlord side, the people that actually own the projects, you know, majority of the commercial real estate investments and even residential investments, the majority of those are owned by private investors and a lot of those people rely on that income and so you would be surprised to know the number of uh, people that actually can't hold on for a very long time without that income and so there's really no relief for the landlord uh, as far as the loan side goes except for you know a lot of these guys aren't, aren't uh, doing any foreclosures uh, or anything of that nature currently um, and kind of delaying some of those but that's where you could see that slippery slope really start to unwind. So, so, Cody, to drill down just a little bit, so the CARES Act and other uh, stimulus measures that have passed Congress, uh, those have some provisions in there that could help bail out some of the operators. However, because of the landlords not having that income, we could see a crisis on the back end that could end up exacerbating this entire financial crisis. Absolutely. And, you know, one that was already hit before the virus or that was being affected by the retail sector, um, as you know, last year there was, you know, around 9,300 stores that had closed across the U.S. And uh, that was a sector that was already seeing uh, its own troubles in certain areas. Now, you know, there were new companies coming up and Internet companies that were based on the Internet that had started to open brick and mortar stores. But, that is something that is to watch out for over the next 30, 60, 90 days is the commercial real estate sector, uh, especially the uh, retail, multifamily, and even parts of the office division. Cody, what's your message? We've uh, got so many local companies uh, that are that have more questions than answers right now and are, are stressing it to the max. Uh, what What is your message for both local businesses and maybe landlords of commercial real estate in South Florida about how to try to deal with this right now? Absolutely. And this goes for businesses all over the U.S. You know, if you're struggling due to the coronavirus and that's really impacting your business, you know, a lot of those guys, what they need to look into is there are certain things like a business in interruption insurance claim uh, that they can look into. There's also SBA loan uh, programs as well, which is a small business loan, uh, which a lot of these are going to be under 4% on the interest rate. And then there are other uh, things that the government is using to help out small businesses on uh, disasterassistance.gov. And so there's several things in there that if you have a business and you're struggling because of this, look into those options because those may be something that can help you either pay rent or get through this uh, time period that we have. And then as far as the landlord side goes, you know, a lot of those guys, what they need to do is they need to go ahead and get with their, if they see an issue coming up, uh, they need to go ahead and get with their mortgage or servicer. And even if you're a residential uh, homeowner and yep. you're starting to see that, getting ahead of that curve is going to be key because that line could get very long here pretty soon. I uh, appreciate it. That's a really good update. Also, uh, Florida Disaster. Uh, dot biz is a uh, a good one as well uh, that gets you working. Um, all right, Cody Payne, Senior Vice President, Dallas Fort Worth Capital Markets Group. We'll be right back with State Senator Manny.